In Lesson to Kentucky, Rep Arena is the home court of the Kentucky Wildcats men's basketball team and is the only basketball program in the SEC that plays home games in an off-campus facility. Rep Arena was named after the former Kentucky basketball coach, Adolph Rupp. He coached at the University of Kentucky for the basketball team from the years 1930 to 1972. Within those 42 years, he won 876 games, which is more than 82% of the games they played. He also helped Kentucky win 26 Southeastern Conference titles, four National College Athletic Association Championships, and one National Invitation Tournament. He was named Coach of the Year four times, coached 25 players who became professionals, and co-coached the U.S. Olympic team that won a gold medal. Knowing how much fame and attention Rupp and his basketball team attracted, you might be able to understand why he was able to attain this great reputation sitting in the middle of downtown. But there are also those who believe Rupp performed many potential racist actions throughout the years. During his time coaching at the University of Kentucky, Rupp was highly honored for his contributions to Kentucky's basketball program. Later on, racist allegations against him began to spark throughout the campus and the state of Kentucky due to his lack of diversity on past teams he's coached. Show our photos of some of Rupp's teams. Shown respectfully are Adolph Rupp's 1950 to 1951 team, his 1951 to 1952, and his 1965 to 66 team. amount of pressure put on him by some of the local bigots. At the end of his life, he was progressive and he even had affection for me. The people who, who didn't know him went through the myth and, and, and the legend and, and all the rumors more than anything else and uh, did not go directly to people who knew Adolf. Rupp recruited mostly inside of Kentucky, which earned his nickname Baron of the Bluegrass. Rupp didn't recruit or play African-American players until Tom Payne in 1969. Furthermore, Tom Payne's recruitment wasn't until three years after the championship game against Texas Western, an all-black team. Rupp's all-white team prior to Tom Payne's recruitment sparked curiosity in a lot of people's trying to figure out Adolf Rupp's logic, and it could possibly appear as just another racist action Rupp performed to some. In fact, in the mid-1960s, when the university's president, Dr. Joan Oswald, was pressuring Rupp to recruit an African-American, Rupp went to his assistant coach and said, Harry, that son of a bitch has ordered me to get some niggers in here. What am I going to do? He's the boss. It seems as if Rupp didn't want any black players on his team at all. As most of you know, the word nigger is a very offensive word used against African-Americans, especially during slavery and Jim Crow. This quote from Rupp was obviously one of the racist actions people look at when deciding if Rupp was a racist or not. Many people who thought Rupp was a racist are unaware of Rupp's true logic. In a 13-minute interview from October of 1971, Rupp explained his delayed basketball integration. Rupp stated confidently that he held nothing against African-American players, but it was quite difficult to recruit one. Since the SEC didn't allow blacks to participate for so long, Rupp stated that no one wanted to be the first one to break the tradition. He felt it was pointless to recruit African-American players because he wouldn't be able to play them in conference matches. 
Although he was heavily questioned about why he didn't drop out of the conference, he always gave the same answer. It was up to the athletic board and the board of trustees to determine which conference the university belonged to. Rupp quotes during this interview, I'm not going to get someone to have them sit on the bench. I don't recruit that way. When I recruit, I'm going to get someone that can play. His logic seemed as though he wanted black players, but he didn't want to waste their time. Rupp also said he was afraid of adding an African-American player to his team because he would not be sure how safe his player would be. While traveling out of state, black players will have to stay at a different hotel than the rest of the team because of the dangers racists put them at. Rupp attempted to recruit Wes Unsealed and Butch Beard, two black players, to his team in 1964, but he failed because they knew they would be harassed because of their race. During Wes Unseal's recruitment to the University of Kentucky, he was brutally harassed and was sent things like dead chickens in the mail to scare him away. This was the main reason why during Butch Beard's home recruitment, his mother knew her son wasn't going to the University of Kentucky. This shows that even before Tom Payne, Rupp made an attempt to integrate Kentucky's basketball team. The 1966 championship game against Texas Western marked the first time in history that an all-black starting lineup, Texas Western, beat Kentucky's all-white starting lineup. This was a major event that sparked the beginning of more coaches investing their time into African-American players instead of downplaying their potential. Three years later, Rupp even signed African-American 7-2 center Tom Payne. The all-white Kentucky team stereotype was then put to an end as new African-American basketball legends began to come out of Kentucky, including Sam Bowie, Kenny Walker, Jamal Mashburg, Tajon Prince, and Jack Gibbons. Today, these opinions of Rupp representing racist actions are being brought back to light as many people are demanding a name change to the Rupp arena because they feel Adolph Rupp was a racist. With all the given information, do you guys think he was a racist?